Hi, super special clip brought to you today. You may have noticed over the past week that I haven't put anything out. That's because I finally got hit by COVID. So I'm in about day five now. The past few days have been pretty rough. My lungs got hit pretty hard, but today it's feeling like the first day I can actually start to do something. So for today's clip, I'm going to do something special. As I was editing down the full clip of episode nine of my cracking tie in 10, when I got to sentence number four, which you would have missed in YouTube land, I thought, oh my gosh, this is a really, really valuable lesson. Sentence number four. Okay. I love this sentence. I love it and I hate it because uh, you hear it so much and this sentence can be so loaded with nuance. You have to really, really read the situation to understand what's driving this sentence. First of all, how do you say only in Thai? I hear foreigners get this mixed up all the time. Uh, the words that they use to say only, even if you put them into Google Translate, aren't really the same way that Thais would idiomatically say it, the way that they would say it naturally. And so through the sentence that came out, it was randomly generated from those over 5,000 sentences now that David Martin has collated. We use this sentence as a base to go into all the different ways you can say only and that sentence actually is a really useful one because it's actually one that you hear when ties are wanting to show passive aggressiveness as well. And so while you might not want to use it to be passive aggressive, you'll be able to pick up on it. Now that sentence isn't just for being passive aggressive. You also hear it used on a telephone call when people are finishing a call up. But all in all, I think this is a really good colloquial lesson in Thai. So just one last thing as well. We're getting to sentence 10 in this cracking Thai in 10 sentences. So that's a huge amount of information for colloquial Thai. So that's just spoken. And then my cracking Thai fundamentals is more on the whys of the Thai language. And if you really, really want to get fluent in Thai, well then enroll in Minecraft. We have over 70 people have enrolled over the past year and we have the most amazing group of learners from all different backgrounds. And if you come into the Discord server, you see there are learners of all levels as well as native speakers. So come into the Discord server, but if you're really serious about getting on top of your language, understanding language more than you ever thought you would be able to understand the language. And who knows, you might go into other languages as well. Come into Minecraft. Minecraft isn't something you have to prepare yourself for months in advance. It's actually the prequel to even cracking Thai fundamentals. It sets the foundation for any language that you're going to learn. It's all the stuff I would have wanted to know before I even started out learning any language. So check it out, Minecraft, as well as the Cracking Thai in 10, you'll get the full series there at jacademy.com. Got a whole bunch here in YouTube land, so just check out the series in the playlist there. I'm Stuart J. Raj, enjoy. Sentence number four, okay. I love this sentence, I love it and I hate it because uh, you hear it so much and this sentence can be so loaded with nuance. You have to really, really read the situation to understand what's driving this sentence. What is the sentence? Canina, canina. Okay, so care, meaning only. I would just say, actually, there are a few ways to say only in Thai. So for example, somebody's told me and they've come in and they said, oh, something crazy has happened. I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you. What, what, tell me. And they tell me and I said, that's all? I would probably use the word care in this sentence. Can you know, this is all that's wrong? And you're making such a big deal of it. So this care would be used in that sentence. But what I hear a lot of the time is foreigners using the word taunan for only. So for example, if I wanted to say, I only have 100 baht. I could say it in three different ways, actually four. So I'll tell you all the different ways and then I'll show you why this would only be used in this context. So I've only got a hundred baht. I could say me care ning loi baht. So if someone's saying, oh, look, if you've got 150 baht on you, I need to pay the delivery guy. Me care ning loi baht. I could say, I only have a hundred baht or me care beng loi. I only have a hundred baht note maybe. And that would be okay. It wouldn't be the most idiomatic though. And it's probably not going to be the first go-to way of saying this in Thai. Another word would be piang. So if you lived in Thailand for any amount of time, you would probably hear the Piang Po economy doctrine. So which is the sufficiency economy. Piang means just enough or only. Piang Po, 
just enough, only enough. So mi piang ning loi baht. I have only 100 baht. And that would almost be like the feeling evoked if I said, I have but 100 baht. Mi piang ning loi baht. I only have 100 baht. It's also not probably the go to sentence for your everyday colloquial Thai. I could also say, mi ning loi baht tao nan. Note that the nuance between mi ke ning loi baht and mi ning loi baht tao nan are a little bit different. Mi ke ning loi baht would mean I only have 100 baht. Mi ning loi baht tao nan tao nan is only. I don't have any more. That's all I've got. I haven't got any more. What do you want? So if I were using the ning loi baht tao nan, it means there's no more. Don't ask for any more. There's no opportunity of getting more than that. Ning loi baht tao nan. That's the final offer. That's the final amount. I can't go any higher than that. But if I said, oh, me can ning loi baht, say, oh, sorry, I've only got 100. It's very different. And then there's the final way of saying it, which is probably the most normal way of saying it. I'd use the word ta. Yes, ta. You've probably learned that ta means but. But in Thai, if somebody said, oh, have you got 200 baht on you? I said, me ta loi dio. I've only got 100. Now, let's break that down. Me to have ta baht. Loi hundred DL single. So Loi DL is the same as Ning Loi Bart or Loi Ning. Loi Ning 100. Loi DL a single Loi which is also 100. Notice if it's one, the amount DL Ning comes after the thing. So Mita Loi DL, I've only got 100. Mita Bang Loi, I've only got 100 baht note. Bang Loi, bang from a bank note. Bang Loi, 100 baht note. So they're all the different ways of saying only. We have ka, piang, tao nan, and ta of saying only. Now, in this sentence, you could only use ka because it's only this meaning here that I mentioned a minute ago. Ka nina, it is only this. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got for you. Um, and it wouldn't sound right saying any of those other words in this sentence. And so ka nina means that's all. Ka nina. But the nuance now behind this is very deep. And so canina, then na at the end changes everything. I've talked about na in these other clips. It's like ne in Japanese, I guess. When you say something and you put na, it means I anticipate that you're going to understand what I'm saying and probably agree with it. So for example, if I ask for the price and they say it's 120 baht, loi yisi baht. And I said, loi ning na. 100 na it's like come on we can do 100 can't we and they'll say yeah okay loining na 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 asking for an affirmative or an affirmation an affirmative response back so this can in na na means basically whatever i've just said i anticipate that you understand what i said and you're going to get it and agree with it so when you hear somebody say this it means that's all that's all. Don't ask for any more. And you'll often hear it at the end of a telephone conversation. Canina. It's like saying signing out. Roger that over and out. Canina. Or if you've just had a fight with your significant other and they want to say, stop, stop, stop. No more. Zip it. Zip it. Don't say any more. Canina. 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 No more. Don't try and push it. Don't push it. And so you'll often hear this said in heated circumstances, in circumstances where whoever's saying it doesn't want it to escalate further, or they don't want somebody to keep asking any further, it can be quite hostile. It doesn't have to be, it can be quite normal as well. On a phone call, it's very normal for someone to say, Kenina, okay, that's all, bye, I see you. And it's kind of the signal to say, you can put the phone down now. Well, I guess people don't put the phones down like we used to when I was a kid, but you can put the phone down. Uh, Kenina but it can be said in hostility and you couldn't use those other care words for it. And here, look, goodbye said on the telephone. There you go, goodbye on the telephone. It's the signal to close the call down. But if I hear canina when I'm say speaking to my wife, I'm thinking, oh crap, what have I done? Or what's wrong? Or this isn't finished yet. And so it can have some deep nuance. Wow, look at that, only three syllables and it can Thank you.